and we are very happy to see so many people wanting to network today and wanting to share their experiences. Uh, some of you, when I bumped into you in the uh, ladies' room, you asked me that, am I going to be presenting this session with Gergő? And the answer is no, you're going to be, because the content of today is fully up to you. What we will be providing here today is the framework so that the networking today would be slightly different to what you do during coffee break, uh, a bit more full of content and a bit more full of stories and experiences. Uh, my name is Esther Avar and um, I've been working with companies as a, an organizational development uh, professional for eight, nine years now. And uh, so I have managers to solve HR issues, uh, dilemmas about management and one dilemma I always come across is the dilemma of knowledge sharing. I've got a company of nine people and one knows this and the other one doesn't but they don't know about each other and how do we share this knowledge and then if we've got this knowledge how do we keep it so that when those colleagues go on maternity leave it still stays there. So there are lots of dilemmas about sharing knowledge, sharing experiences so that during the year of gaining experiences, uh, this doesn't just flood out of the company and get forgotten, but somehow it, it stays there with you and it goes around very dynamically. So this is the kind of experience we would uh, like to give you today because my personal experience with Ilya is that um, it's a great community in terms of openness, of sharing things. So let's capitalize on this willingness of sharing. Uh, let us introduce you this idea of experience management. Uh, the concept of analogy dialogue I met about uh, a year ago and I fell in love with it straight away because what it gave me is this idea of sharing knowledge through stories. So you don't necessarily have to talk about uh, big theories all you need is, is the story. How did you do this? How did you do that? And it gives so much richer and better content. So let me introduce you Gergő, who I've been working with for, for a year now, uh, trying to help communities like you, like Ilya, to be able to share knowledge in a, in a different way. Thank you. So my name is Gergő, and I'm very honored to be with here with you, uh, Esther talked a lot about the works that she did with this booth and <coughs> always uh, very present. So uh, I was very excited to come here to see how you work and how you uh, share experience. Welcome the newcomers. And um, if you haven't had cards like this, please. Okay. So uh, we've, been, we've been working on this concept for about two years now to how this is a background of knowledge management and uh, how we can use stories to solve problems. And we've been doing a lot of research on brain sciences, management sciences, artificial intelligence, and a lot of things that we were into on how to solve problems. And one of the very simple things that we've come to is that when you have a dilemma, is the best thing you have is a similar story with good experience to gain. So if you go to a mentor with a dilemma and he or she tells you that how they solve a similar story to what you're facing right now, most probably that is going to be the biggest revelation that you can have because you can adapt that to your personal needs. Basically that is the concept of analogy dialogue, sharing stories, sharing experience th through stories. And uh, just look at the amount of experience you have here. At least you're working on average five years of, in the business. So in this very room, we have around 20, 200, 250 years of experience. <laughs> One amount of experience. So how good it, would it be to tap into that experience and find the relevant just for you in this very moment. Basically, that is what this, what this uh, one hour is going to be about, to 
give you an opportunity to formulate your own dilemma and try to tap into all the spread of experience through stories to find the best suiting story for you. Just not worry about stories. Experience can be very varied. From a very short story like how I solved a telephone conference with a client I just heard, thank you, to how I built a company or how I built our uh, artificial intelligence into business solutions, thank you. Uh, that there's a very exciting but very different uh, level of stories, scale of stories, but they are still a short story with the learning. So, if you want to think of a story, you can think of a very precise situation, just a phone call, or motivating a certain employee, or talking to a vendor that really made your day at that time. Or, you can think of a big process that you managed to improve your processes, to implement something new to your company, or to change the culture of a company. There are so many things that a manager has to face. So basically, this is the spectrum of the experience, short, long, deep, and uh, on the surface, but with always with something to learn and something to share. So that is what we are inviting you to, to try to Think in those stories and try to make this whole room something like around the campfire, talking stories to each other. And what is this talker game you're about to play? Some, some of you have already asked. Uh, in the first round, we would like to invite you to use two of your cards. You've got four in total. In the first round, you will be needing two one purple and one orange. If you have a look at that, what is a story story card? Purple one is your story card. It says a new case. And it gives you a structure. Think of a story, your own experience. Soon we will give you some inspiration for it because sometimes it's very difficult to think of a story. So we will give you some ideas as to what kind of stories there could be. Some of you might have already their stories, and some of you will not. Don't worry about it, we would like to provide you with some inspiration. Anyway, you will have about 10 minutes. First, think of a story, and fill this card in. We just keyword, because you know the story anyway, and you will be able to share it with somebody else. Uh, it asks you about what the actual challenge was, what the problem was that you could solve. What was your aim? What was the actual solution you provided? What positive effects you had? And what was the difference that made the difference? Why was it a good solution? How was it different to maybe some earlier unsuccessful attempts? This is just, a, just some helping, guiding questions so you can think through your stories better. Please feel this one in in the first round too. Orange card is your dilemma card. The question is, what is your present challenging situation? As you can see on the slides, um, what is that? Oh, let's see if it's here. Okay. If you heard some solution to this problem, it would be very useful. So, what is that problem for you right now? What? What uh, challenge are you searching solutions for? So two cards. One is your story. One is your dilemma. You will have 10 minutes to fill them in. Uh, let me give you some inspiration and advice as to what do we mean by stories. We asked some, a person out of this company to give us a kind of list of topics. What kind of topics can we think of? So we came up with a focus map. I'm not sure whether this is visible. Okay, we'll put it up in a second just to show you. So, for example, these are topics that you can think about. We try to think of, it will come up here too. We try to think of a variety. This is not compulsory, 
This is just for your inspiration. You might have a good story about sales. You managed to sell something to a very difficult client. Maybe you've got a story about vendor management. You worked out a new system. Maybe you've got a good project management story, some kind of success story. Anything goes. Think of success stories. Think of challenges that you managed to solve successfully. Surely in the last one, two years, or even in the last months, you had something that was a challenge and you solved successfully. Please don't stick to these topics only. These are just for your inspiration, so you can start thinking. It can be a small story. Maybe just one telephone conference which you solved somehow. Maybe it was a year-long year project. It will all go. It can be any story. And please make sure you fill in your dilemma card. What kind of challenge have you got where it would be useful to hear some similar stories? Somebody else's story, some success stories, some best practices about your dilemma. So this is your task. The framework for it is a maximum of 10 minutes. Some of you are already writing. Some of you we've already interviewed during break time. So we know that you have got those stories. <laughs> Does anybody be asked? <laughs> Of course, thank you for the question. These can be completely unrelated. Maybe I'm a fantastic salesperson. I've got a thousand stories about successful sales. Well, I'll put them one. I, I've got problems with vendor management. I've got this very big challenge of how to organize my vendors and structure or whatever. Then this might be your dilemma. Often these are very different because maybe I'm very good at one area and I've got lots of problems in the other area. Of course, they might be related. I might be a fantastic salesperson, but still my biggest dilemma is about sales. It's up to you. They don't have to be related. If it is all clear, please start writing me. We provided you with some tables. Please feel free to stand up, set at the tables. There are some hard surfaces at the back, so if you find it uncomfortable to write on your lap, you don't have to. Okay? Five to ten minutes, ten max. In ten minutes, we'll start next time. What does what solution are you? Just listen to the session. Is the question the first one or is it the title? It is the title. Yeah, or it's the title of the old card. Uh -huh. Yes. You don't have to write the whole story down word by word because you'll be talking about it. The whole it's session is about talking, so if you start, if you formulate your dilemma, the whole session is going to be about finding the best suiting story for you and sharing your proud through your best practice on the purple bar. Think of your best practices, your success stories things you did well, and think on your dilemma, your challenge that's been bugging you in the last month. Someone very new that you might find new and exciting, great from 
for whatever reason. There are some people in this room that you know the reasons why you would get inspiration from, and there are others that you don't. You can choose whether you want to go find a new partner and find a suitable seat for you to. So what you need to do is that you tell the person your orange card, your dilemma, and the other person tells you that I might have a story for you. And start to scan his hard drive and come up with a story that is suitable for your dilemma. Trust your brain. It is going to find you a great story. If you feel that you don't have, just come up with a random story. Then trust the other person's brain that she or he will be able to use it. Okay, so the task is to tell your orange card first, your dilemma, and for the other one, to tell a suitable story, a real experience, not how you should solve the dilemma. Oh, this is what you should do. No. Tell him or her a story, your experience, and let the other adapted to his or her situation. So help the other be more resourceful to do his own job. So my dilemma is vendor management. I'm really struggling with this. I might have a story for you. I have this very difficult vendor, etc, etc, etc. It might not be the perfect solution in your mind, she or he might find it very useful. So try to come up with a story, a real life one, that you think fits the dilemma quite well. And this is for the next purple card. You can take note about the story you were given. Okay? Now, now? you can catch your person that you want to get inspiration from. It can be a random one, it can be a random one.